Simon YouTube and welcome back to another TCGO battle on the channel. Today we are taking on I am JJ and his Twitter link will be in the description below so make sure to check him out. I've been told this guy is an incredible battler so I'm a little bit intimidated but without any further ado let's get straight into this because you know what we are in this for the action. Here sends the challenge. He is ready to go on the other side I believe um, pretty much. So I don't know what he's bringing, which is half the fun of these, uh, being able to test out the randomness. A friend of mine actually introduced me to this gentleman, and uh, apparently he's got like all sorts of different varieties of decks, and it'll be kind of neat to see what he brings here. So those color combinations don't tell me much, obviously I don't know Pokemon TCG enough to stand out a meta deck, but I will go for the coin toss, we are going for the fabulous tails, and we are losing the coin toss. So, I am JJ is going to be able to choose if he wants to go first or second as he does decide to go first. I will be playing the Carbink in the lead position and I will be playing the Regirock down in the back. Uh, we have no other basic Pokemon so we are going to continue on here and we are going to see that he has one active and one bench as well. So he has Articuno, Seismitoad, Item Lock is here to stay, but what's nice is Carbink is not threatened by the Seismitoad. Uh, we do see a Rough Seas right off the bat. A Judge nails my hand right down to four. That is not cool. This is going to be a tough match. Especially as I did not get a good supporter. Uh, he discarded down another Judge and a Water Energy. Kind of interested to see what he grabs here. A Shaman, pretty standard. Drops the Shaman, so now his hand is back up to what it wants to be. Um, I'm in a bad position, and we haven't even had a turn yet. This guy knows what he's doing. He has a Manaphy EX for the free retreat on the Seismitoad. This lets him get into the Articuno with the Delta Plus. If the Articuno takes out a Pokemon, it'll claim an additional prize on top of whatever you would have claimed naturally. Uh, we do have another Regirock, which is a problem here. Uh, we are going to have to set up the energy here, go for the Battle Compressor, and unfortunately that is going to be all I have. I will ditch an N, a Karina, and the Lysander seems to be prized. Lysander's prized! That's never a good thing. I will get rid of a Sycamore, this way I have all those options. I don't, now that I'm looking at it, Skyla may not be too much of a card I need. I'm gonna end the turn. I cannot attack. Uh, I will not be able to use item cards, unfortunately. I will not take damage from the Quaking Punch, but uh, there are other methods here that can stop me from playing. Now that I'm looking at it, I could have battled Compressor, got rid of a couple uh, fighting energies, and started setting up a Reggie Rock. But again, Regirock is not going to do too well against a Seismitoad. Uh, we see a Max Elixir. Going to be looking for a Water Energy to attach to that Articuno. As it did. And that Articuno is going to be his main attacker to get rid of Carbink. As you can see, he gets the Fighting Fairy Belt onto it. Goes for a Sycamore. Does not want me getting any additional cards. As he gets rid of a Hoopa and another Rough Seas. Which is all fine and dandy. Adds a water energy to the Articuno, so this thing is almost set up. Switches into it and will probably go for the knockout here. Energy switch, takes the energy off of the Seismitoad, attaches it to the Articuno, and now that Articuno can go for the Tri Attack, which is flipped three coins. This attack does 40 more damage for each heads. Fighting Fury Belt onto the Red Ice. This thing is just nasty. No one, um, we're not knocked out, but that is definitely not a good position for us to be in right now. Uh, we have a carving break coming up. We have a trainer's mail, and this will net us an N, which will definitely help us out, hopefully. Hopefully! Come on, we need some good cards here. Uh, so we do get the N off. I can at least get a floatstone out onto the carving. But I'll continue to go for the trainer's mail. We are going to get a battle compressor which I will then go to use as two strong energy and hopefully I can get a Zygarde here in a second. Strong energy. I blanked out for a second there. One, two, and we'll ditch a 
We'll ditch the Skylar. Get it into the discard. Because you never know, we might need it. Uh, we need to go with the Floatstone on the... I'll go Floatstone on the Regirock. We'll go Shaman Drop. We do need to get an Ultra Ball or something to get that Zygarde right now. And I do not get it. I do not get it. The Articuno does have a resistance. We're in a really... This is going to be an uphill battle. Uh, Water Bulky is just not going to be something we want to see. Attach two energies to one of our fellow Mons here. One, two. And we're going to attach it to the Red Duroc here. Sadly, the Red... Uh, the Carbink Break is going to go down here. Uh, claiming two prizes for my opponent. Uh, and at least... We have some chip damage on the Articuno, so we might be able to knock it out. Nope, we won't because of the Fighting Fury Belt. It's currently sitting at 120, and with that resistance, I might be able to knock it out. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, because Red Rock does not get the power of Reggie Rock, so that is another problem. Uh, we see a Max Elixir, no thing off of that. Ooh, the pressure here is on! Making me go at go at this with all might. And I don't think I've got it this time. Water energy on the Reg Ice after a heal. That triage is gonna go for that damage. No coin. Oh. We are knocked out as expected, so our opponent is gonna grab two prize cards here. And that is unfortunate because we are just not gonna be in the best position for this. Uh, we get a Karina this time. We are going to grab a Zygarde. And an item. We'll go for an Ultra Ball. Seems like the best play. That way I can get the carving. I can ditch the end and the Sycamore. And get myself a carving here. drop energy onto the Zygarde, and we are going to go for the Bedrock Press, which I'm hoping will at least do enough to knock this thing out. It does not. Resistance, it is 120, but unfortunately due to that Fighting Fury belt, our opponent is just just shy of being knocked out here, giving that Red Race even more time to shine. It's going to go for that Ice Beam. It's going to get an energy switch. My opponent is playing amazingly. Uh, heals off the Articuno, gets the Resistance Blizzard here which is something I did not want to see. And I think at that point, there isn't a whole lot I can do. Red Ice completely shuts us down. Red Ice completely shuts us down. We're going to get ourselves a water, a fighting energy here. And you are protected. I think I attached that energy to the wrong Pokemon. I think I attached that to the wrong Pokemon. Yep. Get ourselves a Carping Break. Maybe a Max Elixir. But at the rate we're going, there's no way we can take out this Red Ice. Go for a Max Elixir. We do get a Fighting Energy, which is great. We can attach that to... Ah! Oh! Zygarde EX gets it, but I should have, have not have evolved Carbink. Another misplay on my part. Um, we will retreat. Into Shaman. If I'm going to lose an EX, I might as well lose the Shaman. I'm going to end my turn. I have a Via Seeker. I need that Carbink break, but at the same point, there's not a whole lot I can do here. I've already sort of lost this one. Lysander, he's going to get that right there. Whew. Why do I yawn? Um, gets that damage off the Articuno. Gets more damage onto my Regirock. I don't think... don't think I've got this. I don't even think I've got a dent here. 
With my Lysander prized, it's really hard for me to get uh, any momentum going. Go for the Sycamore. We get another Zygarde, but it doesn't matter. Fighting energy onto the Carbink. We'll go for a Trainer's Mail here. Getting a Scorched Earth. This will at least nullify the the uh, healing. And we'll go for another. We'll take the Scorched Earth. It's a little bit more viable. There's not a whole lot I can do, but I can at least retreat into the Carbink and go for a Diamond Gift. I can hit it. It's 40 damage. I only have one strong energy in the discard as it is. We'll attach that one to Zygarde. We see a Max Elixir. No energy. And a Lysander is going to come out to claim my Regirock. It is unfortunate, but it had to happen. Had to happen. I'm not going to play the Zygarde, there's no point. We're at a two prize deficit right now, which is Articuno could come in and just clean us up really easy. And I cannot attack. We were shut down entirely with Red Ice. We're going to attach an energy, go for the... We can go for the Diamond Gift. It's 30 damage. We'll grab two strong energies and attach it to Regirock, because, you know, that is how we can work this out! But, alas, I think Zygarde's getting a loss in this game. A Fighting Fury Belt. Seismitoad EX is now just as ferocious as any of the other mods. There's a Rough Seas. That Articuno is at almost fully healed after all that damage we gave it. Not that it matters. Uh, we lose the power at memory from the Zygarde. Couldn't get in. Here comes the Resistance Blizzard. Does 70 damage. 80 damage, I apologize, from the Fury Belt. Uh, we are going to go for the Scorched Earth. And alas, there is no energy. There is no Lysander. I do believe our good old friend over there has got us. Uh, we will go for another diamond gift which will do another 40 damage there's an energy for the red rock it's set up to attack if uh, I could actually hit the red race but I can't only carving King carving is not a strong enough attacker uh, triage is coming through one two and that is a knockout carving goes down that is game number one uh, we didn't get a single knockout there, but that was, uh, our opponent played incredibly. Our opponent played incredibly. That just stalled us out. The energy switches, the ability to keep on going. We were literally crushed. But, okay, uh, sorry, it's really late where I am in comparison to where my opponent is. Uh, three hour difference, I think. So I'm playing a little later than I'm used to doing in these TCGO battles. Uh, just like I did my opening. The awning is just going to be a thing right through this one, I think. But we are looking for the second at battle. We are going to continue on our possible losing streak here. Because this guy just is way out of my league. Way out of my league. There are probably plays I could have made that I just didn't see. We're going to go Tails again here. We lose another coin flip, and he's gonna play first. I would too. Uh, we start with a Zygarde in the active role. Maybe this time we can uh, get a little bit more damage off. 
Uh, we have no other basics, which is fine. Uh, we see an Aegis Slash EX. Seriously? I can't use the strong energy I have in my hand. Cannot use them. Ultra Ball. Discards a rough sea, two rough seas, and grabs a Hoopa. This will net him the Seismitoad and the Shaman and all sorts of stuff. Hoopa is an amazing tech card in an EX heavy deck. Amazing card. Uh, this will net him three EXs, Manaphy, Seismitoad, and Shaman. And here comes another one! Hmm. Max Elixir probably going for that Seismitoad. Gets that water energy. Good boy. Aegis Slash also gets a water energy. Again, Aegis Slash doesn't need steel energy. He just needs to show up, stop what ha what's happening on my side of the field, and that's exactly what he's gonna do, because I cannot attack him with those strong energies in my hand. I cannot do it. Here comes a Judge, putting me deck down to four cards, just like last time. This is insane. Uh, but we do get a couple of good item cards, or energies, so I'll be able to at least uh, go for an attack, hopefully getting a stadium, either he playing it or myself, that'll be better than what I currently have, because that'll at least do 40 damage to this thing. At least 40. Something. I'm gonna do damage! Yeah! Uh, we are gonna attach a, whoop, attach a fighting energy to the Zygarde. We're gonna go for a trainer's mail. Um... We'll take the end, because we're gonna end everything away anyway. And there goes that end. We're just gonna shuffle up, get some new cards, and we get a bunch of stuff. Zygarde, Regirog, Carbink. We have a Scorched Earth, which is exactly what we wanted. And now we'll be able to do, what, 50 damage? 50. Still, not bad for one energy. Not bad for one energy. I'll be able to, again, if I get judged or not. I can go for the energy drop on for that cell storm. He got rid of my uh, Scorched Earth though. Still doesn't matter, Rough Seas is going to help the Lance Pulse if I don't get anything out, but I'll be able to at least go for a cell storm because he did not judge me, which is good. Stop judging me. I am a good player! I am! I am a good player! I'm just not as good as you are! Fighting Fury Belt on the size of Toad, that thing is going to crush me. Goes for the Quaking Punch, stopping me from using my VS Seeker. Yep, there's the Quaking Punch, stops me from using the VS Seeker. I cannot use the N in the discard. I do get a Shaman though, so that is perfect. It lets me get around the Quaking Punch and hopefully get me into some other cards, possibly getting a little bit more damage off. Uh, we do get a Carbink Break, which is, in my opinion, kind of essential at this point. Uh, we can go for the other carving. Item cards are useless because we are under the spell of the Quaking Punch, so we'll go for a Cell Storm here, which will deal 70 and heal us 30. Which is great because we're going to counteract the Quaking Punch for the most part while dealing more damage to my opponent. That Red Ice though is getting powered up and that is a scary factor because I cannot beat it. Uh, the one thing I did not put in this deck is a, a non-EX attacker, which is bad on my part, very bad on my part, did not think of it. But hey, this is a gimmicky deck, um, we're not really looking at it in a competitive- well, okay, don't lie to me. Don't even lie to you guys! I was hoping to get this thing competitive, but apparently I'm just not as good as my opponent. Like, this guy's got EX hitters. Stalling at tactics, retreat tactics. Uh, he's got everything in this deck. It is, it is one of the better decks I've seen in a very long time, and this guy is just trouncing me, putting me in my place one moment at a time. He's gonna go for the quaking punch because he's not willing to risk the grenade hammer right now. It's not worth it. It is not worth it. Uh, goes for the red ice. He's gonna go for an energy switch instead. This is now. Game over. We are going to get Resistance Blizzard until the end of this game because I cannot take up this red base. He can heal off all the damage I'm going to do with my 
uh, Diamond Storm, or Diamond Gift, I apologize. Uh, we are gonna have to... I can't even retreat! Can't retreat! We are going to throw three strong energies into the discard pile. I need to take out uh, the, the Zygarde. So, what do I go for? Drop the energy there. I'm gonna VS Seeker. N is the only option I have. I should have battle compressed a Karina. That would have been a smart play. I am losing my plays here because I'm intimidated by the Reg Ice. I did get the Max Elixir. Max Elixir doesn't work on a carving break. Made that mistake last time. We are gonna see if I can get that. There we go. Fighting energy, and we're gonna put it on this carving over here. Uh, can we get an Ultra Ball of some sorts? We get a Float Stone, which is kind of crucial. We get another... We'll go for another Trainer's Mail. Not the cards I'm after. Not the cards I'm after. I'll be 100% honest. And... There's nothing I can do. There is nothing I can do. This guy has stalled me out already. I can't switch. Uh, my car bank that I need to use as the attacker now cannot attack. I didn't get an energy drop for this because I could not get the flowstone previous. A lot of mistakes here on my part, and that is completely 100% my fault. I'm going to end the turn here. I need to get a car bank break to continue moving on. But alas, I, I don't think I'm going to be able to take out this red race, especially if I don't get the um, Scorched Earth. Not to mention, he probably has a way to get the Red Ice back. And by the time I've taken out the Red Ice, this guy will have a ton of mods completely set up and ready to go. Uh, so there's another Resistance Blizzard. I'm at 150 HP gone. I get a Karina, which is very, very nice. I will go for the Carbink Break, and... Max Elixir. So we will Carbink break up. We are going to retreat this Zygarde here. Retreat into Carbink break. We will go for a couple Max Elixirs, hoping to get a Fighting Energy, which we do not. Uh, we will go for another one. We still do not get one. So that's again unfortunate here. I will attach the power memory to my other Zygarde as we go for the diamond gift here. It'll do 30 damage, not a lot. And weirdly enough, I have to set them both onto the carbink break so I can get the damage onto this thing. It's healed up. The rough seas is definitely going to be a bad omen here. Uh, the Aegis Slash is great. I did not look to see if my Lysander is actually in the deck this time. Seismitoad is now set up and ready to go for that Grenade Hammer. Goes for Lysander, Ta is about to take out my Zygarde, which is a great play on my opponent's part here. I did try to retreat, not gonna lie, I did try. But it's not enough. Uh, we are gonna go in with the Carbink Break here. Oh, we get a Lysander. I'm going to hold on to it, uh, to be honest with you. I need to be able to take out the Aegis Slash. Carbink Break right now in the front is the only one that can actually take this thing out. Uh, we'll go for the Diamond Gift. 
70 damage. Uh, no, I do not want the strong. As weird as that sounds, I don't want the strong. If I want to have a chance of taking out that Aegis Slash, I have to have Zygarde set up and ready to go without strong energy. Uh, Carbink cannot knock out my opponent next turn. Goes for an AZ, picks up... I missed what he picked up. Max Elixir, doesn't matter. It does matter, but it doesn't. I'm pretty sure it was a Shaman. Uh, Max Elixir, nothing again. Water Energy onto the Articuno. And this Angel Slash is going to hit me for a lot of damage. Uh, as he goes for the switch right now into the Seismitoad, uh, because of the free retreat, he'll be able to grenade hammer, knock me out, and then I will be completely at his disposal. Completely, 100% at his disposal. This is a tough match, and I gotta give it to my opponent. He is playing excellently. Um, I wouldn't want it any other way, to be honest with you. In these situations, you want to put as much pressure on a deck if you just to showcase it. And obviously, I can't take on Basic Blue. I cannot take on Basic Blue. Uh, okay. Can we talk, take out anything? We're going to Lysander out the uh, Manaphy. As I go for another Diamond Gift. Go for the Diamond Gift. I'm gonna do enough damage. He needs to drop a Water Energy down onto this thing to get it out. Uh, I have to go for the Strong Energy. Yeah. We are going to place them onto the Red Jarrock in the back. Not that it really wants to be an attacker, but I have no choice. Might have been better to go with the Power Gem now that I'm looking at it. Uh, he will get a heal off here. And the red, the red ice is healed up entirely. Again, I can't take it out. I have to. Luckily enough, I do have the Lysander in the deck now, so I can go after the threats. He's gonna VS Seeker out my an AZ, so he's gonna AZ up the Manaphy. Bring in the Articuno. He's got an Energy Switch guaranteed in his hand, so he's gonna be going for that energy off of the Red Ice, off the, the Seismitoad. Uh, he'll be able to go for a Tri-Edge and possibly take two prizes here, which he will. He'll take two prizes. Uh, Carbink goes down. Carbink goes down. I have to go into Zygarde. I don't have enough pressure to take it out either. We're going to go for an N. Kind of hoping to get my Regirock. I got a Ultra Ball, so we can at least check. If I get the Ultra Ball, Lands Wrath will not knock it out. It won't knock it out. It's got 120 HP. It will not knock it out. This is a hard game. This is a very hard game. Um, no, I, I got an Ekarita. Uh, Karina. Wow, can't even speak it properly. Skyl is gone. I will grab the Red Rock because I will need the additional damage. I don't think Zygarde is going to make it this time. Zygarde is going to definitely get one shot here. Uh, Lanzarath would do 120 naturally, but because of the resistance, I cannot knock it out. I do need to go for the Power Memory. I got to take something out. All cells burn. I gotta take something out here. And the problem with this is now I'm noticing when I go for an all cells burn, Zygarde's a sitting deck. The deck build wasn't the strongest. Not enough switching, I don't think. I have float stones, get, don't get me wrong, but uh, Zygarde's high retreat cost makes it very difficult for him to get out of there. And it's not like I'm using Zygarde. Or not Zygarde, uh, Zorork. So I can't do the freely switch in. That might have been a good idea to tech that in instead of the Red Jarrocks. That would have been a strong tech. 
I uh, could have gone in between the carbings. I uh, got the diamond storm. Needless to say, though, I do believe I've lost this match. But again, my opponent, look at what my opponent's doing. Playing fantastically. He's getting fighting fury belts, raising those HPs. He's creating an environment where he cannot be damaged. Uh, he's setting it up where I have to be stalled out. Look at that. He got judged turn one both times, able to knock me down to four cards, which, if you guys don't realize, is huge at the start of a game. It is absolutely huge. Um... With that being said, I've taken one prize. I think that'll be the only prize I managed to get tonight. Um, there's a Karina. I gotta go for the Carping Break. Not that it's gonna matter. Uh, there are no more item cards in the deck. Oh, I, I missed it. I'm used to it doing the two. And yeah. Now I've lost that opportunity as well. Okay. We'll go for a super rod here. I have fumbled up this last bit of the game. Uh, definitely, definitely, definitely intimidated. I've been intimidated quite a bit this last little bit. And we can go for 40 damage, but it's not going to do much. I, I can't attack it. Resistance blue. Can't attack it. Cannot attack it. Uh, so this thing is going to do 80 more damage to me, putting me at 160. Once the Zygarde goes down, that will be the game, because there's nothing I can do. An energy switch is coming through. Switching one of the water energies off the Seismitoad over to the Articuno. But that is an amazing tech that I've never considered is the energy switch. I, I, like, I've used energy switch, don't get me wrong. But not in the way my opponent is doing. And we're going to go for an end. Not that I think it's going to help me out here. I've got a lot of Pokemon that late game doesn't really do much, and I have no way of attacking. So, unfortunately, this is going to be the end of the game, guys. I apologize for not being able to give you a quality battle on my side. I definitely got a wall, but that is Pokemon TCG. Um, my opponent played a fantastic deck, and if you're ever going competitive, you need to be able to counter those decks. I did not manage to do that. I got O2'd by I am JJ, and he is a fantastic battler. So if you guys are ever wanting to battle him, I'll link you his Twitter link will be in the description. So make sure to check him out. And as always, make sure to check out my videos after this, because we're bringing on a good friend of mine, I believe. I haven't had that battle yet, so we shall see. But thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to check out the next episode. And until then, time 